hi guys welcome back to another forge campaign custom creations video here we are playing today the second map in a list of 10 that is ongoing from the boss brags this one called crossfire we played the original map which was called invasion here a few uh, about a week ago i think uh, that video is up on the channel if you want to click back and have a look this one is called crossfire links down in the description if you want to jump in and check it out on the custom browser also we'll have a link to my previous video if you want to look at that one let's get into this one so the synopsis is fight through the ongoing conflict between the covenant and the banished reach blue team gather intel on this new threat and survive it says play with slayer there isn't a game mode associated uh, but you must be on eagle team tags and brags thanks for making this solo uh, as well let's run it Okay, here we are guys. We have landed, it seems like, in our pelican and we're on an icy biome, which is pretty cool. I haven't played a snowy type map for some time back before Christmas. Uh, I was a little sick of them then, but uh, it's been obviously a good few months now, so quite happy to jump into this looking, lovely looking map. And obviously we've got Covenant epic uh, scenery, which I'm very excited to play on. Bang. Okay, so here we go. We are getting near uh, to the enemy. And look at this. We have banished forces against the Covenant. This is super epic in a big arena here with the Covenant background drop. I love the look of this. They are <laughs> having a good fight at that uh, chieftain there. I might just watch this for a little bit because <laughs> it is pretty epic. Now in the last... In the last... Oh, they've taken him down. We should get down there and start fighting, I suppose. So in the last map that we played in this game uh, series, we were defending, actually. The banished forces had invaded a UNSC training outpost, and we had to... I'm going to die. We had to defend that outpost, but were overcome and uh, essentially had to evacuate. Jump into our pelican. That was a hell of a throw. Jump into our pelican. There needs to be a grab lift here. Oh, there is. And uh, disappear, basically. Escape. Uh, so I'm guessing this kind of follows on from that. I don't know why we landed on this planet. Or this part of the ring. Or wherever we are. But we have Covenant fighting the Banished. Which I love the idea of it. I'm not sure how it fits into the Halo lore. Obviously, it doesn't really need to. This is a custom game. But I'm a little bit unfamiliar with the law between... Look at this guy. <laughs> I'm a little bit muddy with the law between Halo 4, uh, the back end of Halo 4, and uh, basically 5 and where we get to in Infinite. I don't entirely know what happened to uh, the Elite in conjunction with the Banished. I haven't played Halo Wars 2, and it's not very well covered. I've got a lot of different books that I still need to read that cover that time period. I've run out of ammo. But I'm just not there with it, with that lore. Looks like this is a button, is it? Yeah. I'm guessing it opened this doorway because the light is flashing. Is this a little... Oh... This is another massive arena. There was that... F I'm quite keen to go and see what's over there. But we'll, we'll keep going this way. Oosh. The problem is, though, I've turned the um, outlines off of this. Uh, I dropped my pistol by accident. <laughs> I was wondering why I had two pulse rifles. Uh, I don't know who's banished and who's, who's uh, covenant on this... Map. I turned off the outlines. I don't think the outlines would have told me anything anyway. I'm going to sneak on through this little cove here. Yeah, this is the first map I've played that's really used the Covenant um, creation pieces in a, in a large manner. And I I really like it. It's, um, it's still with that infinite, sort of more cartoonish, cartoony type of... Uh, vibe going with it. Oh, he's gone invisible. Man. These are actually pretty challenging in here. A lot of health. Uh, 
I had to, I had to focus there. So now we'll activate this, which I don't know what that's done either now. The only way we can go is back, so that's what we're going to do. Could do with some waypoints, but yeah, as I was saying, this is a really awesome scenery. It is the more cartoony Halo Infinite style, but I, I don't mind that. It, it oops, definitely makes it fresh. And um, it does have a very different feeling to the rest of Halo Infinite. And it, it also it, it has a reminiscent feeling to the original, the original Halos, but not not the same at all. It, it definitely feels like uh, an evolution. Oh, into a larger area here. Boom! Love that. There's a lot of uh, Covenant or vanished weapons, hard light weapons around, which. It's quite nice for a change. I do use them as much as I can, but when there's UNSC weapons around, you, you kind of, you do tend, or at least I do tend to use those a little bit more often. So resulting, or resorting to a lot more of these hard light plasma weapons is, is a nice little change. Oh, just bounced off of the, the, <laughs> the shield there, the jackal. Oh no, I blew myself up. Wipe it out this room quite nicely. Oh, we'd, we have resorted back to the UNSC weapons just because we spawned with them. Now we're heading back outside. We've got a shot rifle here, which we will pick up and get max ammo. I'm assuming in those buildings that was more the Covenant side, just because they were Covenant buildings. And here we're now moving outside to another big uh, civil war, basically, is what it is, if you're asking me. I uh, should probably be taking out the big boys and not those little ones. Because there is quite a few chieftains around. Oh man, my accuracy with this rifle, <laughs> it sucks. We can just take off a few helmets at the very least. Uh oh. Oh, he, he's luckily kind of eyed me up and then thought better of it. Oh crud! What the hell? He just. <laughs> <laughs> That's something that really does annoy me. They, he jumped then, like... I mean, I don't even know how far he jumped. Literally 30 foot. That was crazy. There you go. Out of ammo in both guns. <sighs> Luckily, we get the hammer kill. And, yeah. That was, that was awesome. Those, uh, those big war type two different factions fighting each other. It's just a lot of fun. A lot of different uh, weapon and ammo deposits in here. That grenade was insane. Oh, yeah. Now we've got the hunters. What's dropping out of here? More chieftains. A lot of brutes over here. Oh, wow, I just got absolutely melted. I mean, this war is a huge epic scale. Oh, we've got a turret up here, actually. There we go. Now, this is pretty epic. I'm liking the scenery of this. We've got to take down the hunters as soon as possible, really. Then we'll knock off this brute over here. As he was taking some damage on me. This is good. Uh, I've got good angles here on everything as well. Which isn't always the case with these turret placements. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> Moving on through to the next area of fighting. Ooh. I'm a bit worried about those snipers, in all honesty. Wow, this is a huge area. <laughs> oh, no. There is a hell of a lot of enemies. And these are brutes up here as well, so they're going to be a little trickier to take down, especially when I'm being charged by a chieftain. Oh, just about managed to dodge that. Now, there's one of those boundaries where he's just going to run away now. And then, is he coming back? Yep. 
Oh, no. There we go, there we go. I am more inclined to ditch the bandit for the hammer, which maybe will backfire now. It did. Jumping hammer. Very satisfying. Uh-oh. We kind of didn't see a few enemies to the side of us there. Ah, uh, man. The pistol is just OP, really, isn't it? Into, oh, an area here where the... Oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Where the banished, I guess. I'm guessing they're banished, or are these the Covenant? I've uh, wiped out a lot of elites in here anyway. Now we got more elites on this side. Invisible ones, which suck. Stick one. There we go. That was that was fun. Uh, I do like when the cross quarters, uh, oh, when the close quarters is well presented like that. It is it is fun. Very, very enjoyable so far. We're about 20 minutes in. Oh, Hunter in the back. There's one, one down. This is actually really difficult especially with all these little grunts and oh man I've run out of ammo I literally thought that was going to kill him instead I, I'm basically dead oh there we go enough grenades and they will fall okay so I think this is the right way yep looks like uh, we haven't been here before we got a broken tree there and some fun weapons but we do have a skewer already man this map is actually pretty big as well we're 25 minutes almost into it now a lot of these big gunfights and the chargers oh there's a ghost as well now do we want to blow it up or do we want to take it I feel like if we take it uh oh uh oh uh oh Reload. <laughs> feel like if we take it, we will be able to wipe everything else out quite easily. But getting close enough to it will be... Oh, somewhat challenging. Or no, it won't, because that will slowly drift towards us after that epic skewer shot. Oh, I just got stuck out of nowhere. <laughs> I didn't even see that being thrown. And there we go. That does wipe everyone out fairly Fairly easily in the end. Oh. Bosh. Take you down. And take you guys down. Now this is another awesome looking bit of scenery. Pop him off. And then we just got to round up the little ones. See that even like there's some nice cover here. It's just very well thought out. Man, I don't know how that guy did die. There you go, headshot. That'll do it. Wow. This map just doesn't end. Oh, oh. I was kind of looking around there at the and got blindsided. Just lob a few grenades into the middle, everyone. I think I even got a stick there. Now, there's no cover here, really. This one is going to be a little bit more challenging. Especially with my aim. <laughs> I don't know why I was doing that. 
Uh, we respawn quite far back, actually. I think they typically they only go invisible, right? When you get when you get their shields off, but then obviously if they recharge, they've got full. Where's he gone? Somewhere. Will that startle him? No. There he is. If we stay... Oh, I was going to say, if we stay far enough back, he might not charge us. Oh, he was the last guy as well, because here it looks like we had some marines here that died, and maybe we escape on this truck. What a great map. Another huge, huge uh, area uh, creation. Well done. Thank you for making that one and uh, really enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and if you have, hit that subscribe button and I will catch you in the next video.